behalf of Thompson Valley School District, welcome to today's high school graduation ceremony here at the Budweiser Event Center. If the gowns look pressed and the tassels are well placed, a little excited, a little anxious, a graduation ceremony is usually designed without any big surprises. I think the whole family thinks I have like 30 days left. But the mere fact a man in uniform Last two. is looking out the curtain suggests this day there might be a plan for one of the biggest surprises of one graduate's life. Yeah, I uh, caught a plane out of Dubai at 9 o'clock yesterday morning, flew through Heathrow Airport, so got like four hours of sleep just anticipating this moment. For seven months, Tim Miller has been gone, knowing his daughter's graduation ceremony was coming. So on this day, far from the theater of the Persian Gulf, he picked just the right stage to make his debut on back at home. I love you. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. You look good up there. And as the pomp and circumstance came to an end for Megan Miller, Daddy, you're so cute. it was just the beginning of an even better day for the rest of Tim Miller's family. Oh, Dada. <laughs> yeah, they're telling me, don't cry, Mom, don't cry. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Ooh. I grew about two inches. I see that. Should we go find your sister? I yeah. think so. Okay. All right. All right. All right. On this picture-perfect day for a graduation. You got a footprint on your back where we're shoving you out the door? Yeah. Go to college. Go to college. The Millers are sure to remember this day forever. Go home and lock ourselves in the house <laughs> and just be with family. In Loveland, Matt Fleener, Nine News. Are you excited to be home, Dad? Dad? Uh, more That's why we more than you know. House <laughs>And what a story this is tonight. It is what everyone at the Trop and on Twitter were talking about, and it has nothing to do with the actual Rays game. A nine-year-old girl threw out the first pitch. And wait until you see the surprise mm. that she got at home plate. Today's reporter Charles Villard live at the Trop with the emotional story of a reunion one year in the making. It is one year in the making. Good evening, everybody. You know, sometimes words cannot convey the emotion of a story. Sometimes you just got to watch it. Meet Elena Adams, the nine-year-old chosen to throw out the first pitch at tonight's Rays game. And as Elena walks onto the field, the crowd at the Trop gives her a rousing round of applause. And what comes next rivets her eyes to the big screen. A message from her father, Lieutenant Colonel Will Adams in Afghanistan. Will giving his daughter some pitching advice, and then she takes the mound to throw out the first pitch. The pitch is a bit short. The catcher grabs it. But as she steps off the mound, the real surprise is revealed. The catcher is her father, Elena running to her dad, wrapping her arms around his neck. Will's wife, Dana, also surprised because Will was expected back from a year deployment on Monday. But the USO arranged the surprise, and off the field, there were even more surprises. I got in last night. You were here last night? I got in. <laughs> yes. Where did you stay? <laughs> it's a Me secret. Too, oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Very funny. That was maybe the hardest part was being back and having to wait even more. No one's right down the street. Elena is a girl of few words, but when asked what she was thinking when she saw her dad, she said, <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I thought that I was dreaming. <laughs> what a great story. Sometimes you just got to watch it. You get a lump in your throat watching these things. Have a good evening, everybody. Live at the Trop, I'm Charles Belay, 10 News. I was holding my breath for this one because Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone set up a plan to surprise his wife at the very hospital where she works by posing as a trauma patient. Not your typical homecoming, but I tell you what, he set up this plan and pulled it off to perfection, leaving everyone in tears. 
U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone didn't waste a moment after stepping off an international flight from Germany geared up for a surprise mission to catch his wife off guard on the job inside the ER at Holmes Regional Medical Center. Uh, the night before, I didn't really sleep because I was excited about coming home. So, uh, of course, uh, just can't wait to see her. Up on a hospital bed and under the sheets, Sergeant Nardone waits for his wife, who's an ultrasound tech. They haven't seen each other for seven months, and she's got no idea that her husband's tour of duty ended earlier than expected. All she knows is that a patient is waiting for an emergency procedure. And like her husband, she's ready to serve. But then... Uh, Mark I'm really happy. I'm really shocked. I wasn't expecting it at all. The tearful homecoming mission is complete, and the family, including their four year old Isabella and 22 month old William, will be reunited. What do you think the kids are going to say when they see you? They're, they're going to, well, that's going to be a whole nother. Whole nother thing because they're probably going to be asleep by the time we get home. But I'm usually not good at surprises, so I, I think this was a little bit better. So everybody got involved, and uh, it was really uh, thanks. Thank you, all thank you all. Yes. Quite an embrace. Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone was not supposed to return home until August 20th. He has been deployed four times since getting married to his wife Leah in 2006, but he says this was hands down by far the best homecoming salute that he has ever been able to give his wife. Reporting from Brevard, Talitha Vickers, West 2 News. Job well done. Mission accomplished right there. You know, spending the holidays away from family is just part of the job for many in the U.S. military, but one Utah soldier stationed in Iraq got to make the trip home to surprise his children. Fox 13's Bob Evans reports. U.S. Army Warrant Officer Jerry Patterson showed up this week in a place his children never suspected he'd be. Hello. Daddy! <laughs> hi. What the? <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> How did you get here? Oh, I walked and walked and walked. Dad! <laughs> mm, hi, Bree. The Cedar Hills soldier has been away from home since June. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas. His children were in the dark, but his wife knew. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> mm, all along. It was fun to keep it from the kids, which was really hard. And now Warrant Officer Patterson is where many other soldiers would love to be tonight. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of kids that won't be with their dad this year or their mom this year. And uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity I have to be here. I'm really glad I don't have to spend a Christmas without my dad. I think we can get some things fixed around here now. <laughs> <laughs> One moment, let's just never say next moment, dad's here. <laughs> no more dirty room. I couldn't ask for more than just to have our whole family here. It'll be a fast two weeks, but at least you know he's safe right now. In 2008, Patterson was injured in a missile attack in Afghanistan that killed two others with him. Being home this year means a lot. No more rockets are going to come and hit him. No, not this time. Let's just lock the doors. And for the time being, the world and the wars are far away. It'll be a Christmas to define Christmases. Bob Evans, Fox 13 News, Utah. Who's that?
his ass. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's the happiest dog? Who's the happiest dog? <laughs> He's looking for something. <laughs> Great, he smells amazing. I know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, we try. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. And you thought he wasn't going to remember you. Come here. <laughs> he does. Oh. Do you remember her? I really missed you, you know. It has been a long time. Everybody's like, you better take this. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Oh. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>